Hello, welcome to Spotlight on Cirrus. My name is Laura Higgs and today is September 11th, 2024. And I am privileged to have with me two guests here to talk to us about Orange Shirt Day. We have Loretta Turner and Cheyenne McKay. Welcome Loretta. Thank you. You've been here before with us at many times about yeah. many different topics. I'm very glad to have you in, in our chair here to tell us more about Orange Shirt Day. And you own the LT's Corner Store in town as well. You've been yep. pat, your past president of the Chamber of Commerce, right? Yep. So um, we're very glad to have you here. But Cheyenne, you're new to, new to our show here. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Certainly. Um, Cheyenne McKay, I'm originally from Pine Creek First Nation, which is Treaty 2 and 4 territory in Manitoba. And I'm Ojibwe and I'm a third generational residential school survivor, and I'm a member of CIRRUS for the last two and a half years. Well, welcome. Welcome to CIRRUS. Nice to have you here. So can you tell us more about Orange Shirt Day? So, well, um, to start with, it was last year, um, Orange Shirt Day, that I had, the corner store was open, and Cheyenne is a, I know her through being a customer at the store, and okay. she had come in and said, how come there's nothing going on today? And I'm like, that's a great question. So when I started as chairperson for Scarecrow Days and September 30th is the Monday of Scarecrow Days, mm -hmm. I thought let's put it together because I can. Let's mm -hmm. start it. And Cheyenne was a natural person for me to ask, would you be involved? And she said yes, along with Michelle, who was on our interview last time. Right. Um, so the three of us form the committee that are putting together Orange Shirt Day. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Good to know that. So uh, tell us more. So um, our event builds off of what is happening on Scarecrow Days, like on the Friday, the school, which I talked about in our Scarecrow Days interview, mm -hmm. is having a barbecue and their school um, event for National Truth and Reconciliation. Um, and it's open to the public. And they're doing something really neat that I don't want to reveal at this yep. point. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> but um, so we are picking up on Monday, which is the actual holiday. And we're starting with an orange shirt day walk that will start at the school where the school's event um, took place on the Friday. And they did something that we want to reveal to the community as well mm -hmm. for those that weren't able to attend. Um, so everyone is asked to wear an orange shirt. I believe we will have orange shirts for sale from the Friendship Center with 100% of the proceeds going back to the Friendship Center um, in Brandon. Mm -hmm. And we will walk from the school um, west on Highway 2 to 1st Street and then we'll head south and go all the way down to like down the town hill into the park and congregate at the junction. Um, where we'll have elders Ed and Dolores Janai will mm -hmm. do um, an opening prayer and blessing. And then from 10.45 to 12, we will have sharing and learning, and Cheyenne will tell you more about that. Yeah, so okay. we're hoping everybody will form a nice sharing circle and be able to share stories and experiences and how they're feeling about what reconciliation means to them, how has it impacted their lives. We want this to be reciprocal in sharing of knowledge. So from all the Indigenous people that are attending, but also non-Indigenous, so that we can see both perspectives and hear both perspectives. And then coming together in like a form of healing as, a, as we're sharing that knowledge with one another. Wow. Because I think the misconception out there is that um, Orange Shirt Day is for the Indigenous people. And I wouldn't say that. I would say that it's just as much for the non-Indigenous people to learn as it is for the Indigenous people to heal. Right. I think that's a fair statement to say. Right. Right. Very well put. Yeah. Thank you. So Orange Shirt Day, Every Child Matters, or an Orange Shirt Day on uh, September 30th, starting at the Surrey School yep. and doing a walk down to the junction mm -hmm. and the sharing circle and healing time available. And we're also going to be showing the film We Were Children which is an impactful account of residential school survivors. Okay. It's a documentary of the survivors when they're, when they're elders and they're reflecting back on their experiences. Days, sure. It's kind of hard-hitting, but it's truth. Okay. And especially on the Day of Truth and Reconciliation, we need to hear truth. Mm -hmm. We just caution that um, some of the content may be disturbing and for like an older audience. Right. 
but it's a it's a really good film. And where is it going to be at the shown? Avalon Theater? At the Avalon, okay. Yeah, at one thirty. Okay. One thirty. Yeah. One thirty. So that would be probably just after everything is complete down in the yeah we park. figure that we'll be done done around in the park around 12 give people a chance to get some food in them and then join us up at the theater um, so the film is free um, there, there will be a cash concession like a normal movie theater so, yes yeah, yeah. Um, Rhonda at the town office has been amazing. She contacted the National Film Board of Canada for us and found all the information out and working with the Avalon to get the time set up and all that. It's it's actually been quite easy, that part of it, mm -hmm. which is really nice that we can come together and do that. And Wonderful. I think it'll be a great way for that extended learning and sharing. And if you can't make it down to the junction, maybe you can just make it to the film mm -hmm. or vice versa. Well, it sounds like it's full of information that I've uh, been asking and want to know, so mm -hmm. I have to put that on my schedule to attend. But I hope that the day is set definitely a successful day on September 30th. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you'd like to add, ladies? Good? We covered everything? We covered everything. Please come out and support. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, there is one more thing. <laughs> okay. Go right ahead. Um, so, as, like, as I said uh, at the beginning, as the dates turned out um, it was able to I was able to put this together with Scarecrow Days. Our hope is right after the event this year that an independent committee will be formed for or Orange Shirt Days moving forward ah. um, to have a community organization or committee sure. come together. So we will be collecting names at the event for anyone that wants to join. Is or interested in, in talking about participating and forming yeah. the committee to go ahead and, and have future events. Yeah, okay. because there there is a lot of potential and so much that we could do mm -hmm. um, to grow it or even just to continue, even if it is just a simple walk and sharing every mm -hmm. year, um, it would be nice to see it continue. Sure. Um, and we will definitely, like, I think the plan is to have a meeting in October and we'll put that out there to the community for anyone that is interested in joining. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much, ladies, for coming yep. in and sharing that with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here at Spotlight and Service. Have a great rest of your week.